What's up, guys? Uh, Buck underscore Collector 37, and uh, I'm back again. A little, not too big of a recap, but a uh, pretty good amount of mail over the past uh, week or so. So let's get right into it. Um, for my first three pickups are uh, pulls I bought from my friend on Instagram, uh, Castle Cards. He was doing some football pulls. I had some money, so I said I'll help him out. He's one of my good friends, so uh, so that's good. Uh, so, three autographs I got in three polls, which is pretty awesome. First up from, uh, this year's Contenders autograph of Darren Lee, who's, uh, Jets' first rounder, so very happy with that. Next up, another thing from Contenders. I know, uh, as a card collector, especially for football and now basketball, and I mean even baseball as well, um, one of, this is one of the best sets to collect. I love Contenders more than pretty much anything. They carry basically everyone, and the cards are always a ton Always go for a ton, but uh, out of 199, autograph the variation, uh, not variation, but uh, the, uh, I guess, very, I don't really know how to explain it. Um, out of 199 of Marcus Golden for the Cardinals. And then the last one, this one's really cool. I, had, I didn't actually ever own an autograph of this guy until this one, but uh, I'm pretty happy with it, honestly. I like him, and uh, he's a good player. From 2016 Panini Prestige, uh, autograph of Isaiah Crowell. So I mean, again, one of uh, one of the Browns' better players, honestly. I mean, their season's going to shit basically now, but uh, he's he's one of the better guys. Uh, next four pickups are pretty nice stuff, I have to say. Uh, first, next up is I love this series. Um, 2016 Don Russ Elite is one of my favorite series from this year, and uh, this one is the Pen Pals Auto because they just look great. They're all on card, and I think they're really cool looking. Uh, actually. And the first formal technical auto I picked up of this guy, I do have one from Leaf of him, but I got that in a break. But uh, first auto I picked up of Kenneth Dixon for the Ravens PC. So second auto of him, I mean, he's doing well. I got that for like four bucks shipped or something like that. So can't really go wrong with that. Uh, next up is I really like this guy, and I hadn't had a card from this set. And I kind of like the set, the look of the set, honestly, from uh, 2016 Panini. Uh, what is this? Panini Infinity? Yeah, Panini Infinity. On card auto out of 288. Weird numbering, but of uh, Dolphins running back Kenyon Drake. I know that Ajayi is obviously their starter, but it's always good to keep the Drake. My Some of the Drake stuff I got. I got hit. I got that one. I have the uh, Origins auto. I have a couple of rookies here and there too, but good to pick him up just because he's good on special teams and uh, he's a good player overall, I have to say. But uh, next two cards, last card. Best card of my collection. I, I forgot to mention that in the beginning of the video, but picked it up off eBay. Favorite card I own. Best card of my collection, in my opinion, at least. Uh, not maybe, maybe not value-wise. Again, some of the towns I have are probably going to be more valuable, but and a couple of the other cards I own. But um, n nevertheless, very very nice card. But before that, again, going back to the theme of contenders, another one, and of course this one's on card because I know some of their bigger guys do the uh, the on card stuff, but. Uh, from 2016, 2015, Panini Contenders uh, Pro is uh, Jacksonville Jaguars running back TJ Yeldon. Something I've noticed about Yeldon, this is about the fifth auto of Yeldon I've had at this point. I only have one or two right now, including that one. Yeldon stuff, I found for some reason, goes really, really quickly. So I had a Platinum auto I got rid of. I had a Triple Threads auto I got rid of. And I had one other one. I don't remember what it was. Not Valor. Something else. Some other auto that I got rid of, and uh, so yeah, I mean his stuff's really really hot. I always pick up Yeldon stuff if I see it, I can get it for a good price. Got that for about five bucks. So again, flip that, get some nice some nice uh, stuff out of it for sure. But last card of this mail day, this one, this is again, this is the most money I've put on eBay for one card. I, I paid about eighty four dollars for this, but I think it's a good price for future Hall of Famer, and it's just this nasty card. It's number two of two from 2012 Panini National Treasures of the greatest of all time at his position, laundry tag, Ray Lewis. So, as you can see, this one is by far, in my opinion, you can't really see the stamp, unfortunately. It's right here on that, two of two. I don't know. There you go, in the light. But again, up. I, I really just love the card. I think it's the most beautiful card I have. Awesome. It's so cool to think like this this right here is using the Pro Bowl as well. So again, that's pretty awesome. But and then actually one last thing before I go, this video is gonna be a little bit longer, is I wanted to bring up nationals of this year. Right now, 
it looks like I'm going again. I know I'm from Connecticut, of course, but and I know it's in Chicago. It's going to be a pretty expensive trip, but I'll get into the reason why. So I'm 17 years old. I'm going. I'm a senior in high school at the moment, and I'm going to college this uh, next year around this time. So my parents and I, I'm an only child as well, so my parents and I were talking about going on a trip somewhere. And uh, my mom had brought up the idea of possibly going to Chicago, and but she had not known that the uh, national nationals was there this year and uh they said i said oh maybe we can go when you know nationals is there go make it a four or five day trip go to a clubs or white Sox game go out to dinner and i'll go to the show they do whatever they want they said at first they were a little uh, apprehensive they said they don't really want to do it again but they thought about it and they told me it's actually a very good idea because being 17 necessarily i know a lot of you can relate who are my age you don't necessarily want to walk around a huge city with your parents it's kind of lame if uh a lot of you know that. I mean, I don't, I don't mind as much, but uh, again, I'm like any other teenager. I'd rather be doing kind of my own thing. And uh, so they said, you know, it's a good idea. You go to the show from, what, 9 to 3. We'll pick you up if you want to do some trade night stuff like we did last year, depending if what's going on there. You know, do do what you do your thing till about 6, 6.30, 7. And we'll go out to dinner, spend some time together after dinner, go out uh, to the city and do some stuff, and then wake up and do it all over again for those few days. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to be making my way to Nationals again in Chicago. So that was a blast. Really want to thank my parents for that, of course, too, if we do go. They're, they're honestly the best parents I could ever ask for. Honestly, everyone out there, just be thankful for your parents. That's all I can say is, like, it's just they are really going to be the best people in your lives, hands down, over anyone. Family always comes first. That's what I've learned in my uh my 17 years. But anyway, sorry to get all uh, kind of motivational speech there on you, but that's pretty much it. So hopefully we're going to be making our way to na my, making my way to nationals again, picking some more crazy stuff up like I did last year. And that'll be awesome if we do. So thanks for watching. Again, best card I own. Love it. <laughs> and uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys later.